Now, here comes another messenger. Coming down, next chapter, her mystery was discovered. Now, this is now the discovery of her mystery and her children's mystery. See? We understand now exactly what made her a harlot because she committed adultery against God's Word. And that's what made her an organization. She couldn't stay a Bible church and accept that. And neither can any organization that don't take every word of it the way it's wrote ever be a Bible church. And there's none of them that way that I know anything about. <laughs> Not on. So there, see, as soon as she organizes the things she does, both by the Scripture and by evidence, she dies right there. She accepts the dogma. Now look. Now that's what happened. God sent in this 18th chapter a mighty angel after that mystery was known, a mighty angel or a messenger. Watch here. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven with great power. And the earth was lightened by his glory. And he cried with a loud voice, Babylon, confusion, the great is falling and is become the habitation of devils, the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of ever clean and hate, unclean and hateful bird. And all nations have drank of the wine of the wrath of her fornications and the kings that are committed fornications with her and the merchants of the earth has waxed rich through the abundance of her desolence. Look, immediately after her mystery was made known who she was, what she was, who her daughters was, the mystery's been made known, then God sent an angel, a messenger. To what? Call out! Come out! The message of the hour. Come out of her, my people. That should be not partakers of her plagues. He's going to curse her. Watch. Come out of her. God sent a many mighty angel or a messenger. And his light wasn't in a corner. It's scattered over the earth. Come out of her. What? Her and her sisters too. To lighten the earth and call his people out of her. Now you know that's the truth. A messenger was sent from heaven to call God's people out of Babylon. And His light lighted the earth. Great Holy Spirit. Notice, the Bible said she is a cage and has caught hateful, unclean birds. Not eagles now. No, 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 no. Vultures. <laughs> Unclean, hateful birds. That's why she's caged up around her. She is a cage full of them. <laughs> a whole cage full with what? Blasphemous names. Contrary to the Scripture. Second Timothy 3 said the Holy Spirit speaking, In the last days they will depart from the faith. And give heed to seducing spirits. It also said, the Holy Spirit spoke, that in the last days they'd be heady, high-minded, hateful. Bless God you belong to us or you don't have your name on our book, you're lost. (laughs) Hateful. Unclean. (laughs) I hope I'm not hurting. I hope I'm doing good. (laughs) Hateful. Unclean birds. She caged them. Remember, God is an eagle. He called himself an eagle. And he called Jacob an eagle. And we are his eaglets. Amen. He called his prophets eagles. This angel come down to expose and to call out. Amen. 